hello guys, and welcome to another discussion video. And recently I started playing WarioWare Gold, I got through the main story and started playing some of the other modes in the game, and I'm really enjoying it. So I wanted to have a discussion about WarioWare Get It Together, because I'm now a little more familiar with the WarioWare series, I know a lot of things about it now, I know how it works now, and I honestly find it really fun. It's just really fun, it has a lot of charm, I really like the characters, and specifically with WarioWare Gold, I like the cutscenes and the voice acting in it, which I really hope they bring back and get it together. I think they probably will, because of the trailer, it was fully voiced by Charles Martinet with Wario. But, um, basically, WarioWare Get It Together seems to be basically innovating the formula of the WarioWare series, kind of like how the first few games, I think the first four games did with, like, the original on the Game Boy Advance, and then Twisted, also on the Game Boy Advance, it had, um, the Twist minigames, then WarioWare Touched, had the, um, touchscreen and everything on the DS, and then Smooth Moves, used the Wii Remote on the Wii, so I know DIY is technically like a main series game, but that was kind of more of like a different thing that they did, like one where you could make your own micro games and everything, and then Game & Wario was not really a WarioWare game, it didn't even have WarioWare in the title. I heard it's still pretty good though, but it like it's basically completely different and has like different mini games and stuff like that with the Wii U, so it's not really a WarioWare game. And then WarioWare Gold is technically a return to the older WarioWare games, but that still is, uh, like an ultimate WarioWare game, like a best of. It's still really good, and I would say that, like, it's probably better than the older entries, but it's still not having, like, a brand new innovation to it. It doesn't have, like, a something completely new to it, even though it did really well, and it was a really good game. But WarioWare Get It Together seems to be a return to that actual innovation in the WarioWare series, how each one had kind of a different play style. Like, with this one, you actually get to control the characters, and the, ca the characters kind of um, do different things in the micro games. Like, different, all of the different characters have different abilities, and you can play with multiplayer, do different things like that. And I really feel like the micro games are going to be interesting since there's actually a lot of potential for this thing because all of the different characters have like different moves like they were showing like how um on the treehouse they showed that um young cricket moved quickly so it was kind of hard to control during the boss fight and then in one of the other um micro games like they were controlling mona and she always moved so it, it's kind of like a different play style for each character, so there's probably going to be a lot of replayability. And knowing that there's going to be like over 200 or 300 micro games in this game, there's going to be a lot of replayability, and there, there's probably going to be a lot of content in this game. Like, WarioWare Gold was the same, and it had a lot of content, and I'm just really looking forward to this game. It seems like the aspect of, like, multiplayer, even though it's just two players, I still think that's really cool, and it's definitely really fitting for the WarioWare series. I'm actually kind of surprised they didn't do this before with, like, multiplayer, because it was on consoles like the DS and Wii that did have, like, that you could either connect with the DS or on the Wii, you could play with multiplayer or play with multiple controls. I guess multiplayer wasn't really that common on the Wii, it was mostly in the bigger games, but, um... Yeah, WarioWare Get It Together seems to be doing something really good for the WarioWare series, and I really hope they bring back those. I know that they showed at the Treehouse that they have cutscenes, kind of like how they did in WarioWare Gold, but I really hope they bring back the voice acting, and especially the voice actors in WarioWare Gold specifically, because that was really good. I really enjoyed it, and even though it's like the animation isn't like completely fluid and everything, it's still really it has a lot of charm to it, and it looks really good, and I really enjoyed it. I, I basically was enjoying it throughout the whole story in WarioWare Gold, and yeah, I'm really glad that they're, they seem to be doing something, like, different with this game. They're not just bringing, like, another... They're not, like, doing a port of WarioWare Gold or just doing something 
very different, like Game and Wario, and not even to a point where you have micro games anymore, but they're still having the core WarioWare formula that they had in the 2000s of the uh, Game Boy Advance, DS, and Wii, and now they're actually doing something new with it again, which is really cool, and I, yeah, I just really like what they're doing with this game. I'm looking forward to playing it, and this is definitely going to be one of my favorite games of 2021, I'm thinking, is from what I've seen of it so far, it looks really good, and I'm excited to play it online, too. That's going to be nice to play with other people online, like with WarioWare and everything. So anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more, and make sure to check out my Discord server and Twitter if you want to. Goodbye.